Hey everyone, it's Kelly with My Metamorphosis and I'm really happy to be here with you tonight as always. And I already see something crooked in the background. <laughs> if things don't go to you know what in the first 30 seconds of my video, then it's not me. <laughs> so anyway, I am here to share a Dollar Tree haul with you all. I am so excited to do so. So grab a snack, grab a drink, sit back and relax, and let's enjoy this Dollar Tree haul together. Okay, <laughs> that was all kinds of messed up behind me. So, um, yeah, you know, you already know the animals run back there like, like crazy. Give me one second. All right, scooted you a little closer. So let's go ahead and just jump on into this. No rhyme or reason, you guys. Um, oh, sorry, baby. This is from a couple of different, um, couple of different trips to the Dollar Tree. A lot of this stuff has been sitting around for too long. Baby, come here. So we're gonna start off with something boring. I do want to say though, and I get excited about the little things, the Dollar Tree, at least one of them near me. I'm sweating, hold on. Sorry. Hopefully my butt's not in your face. Oh my gosh, as usual. Get up here. As usual. Everything's just going to you know what in a handbag. Okay. Anyway, the Dollar Tree nearest us. You need to calm down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Um, does have new Scotty's tissues. And um, they've got like really pretty designs. I just got this one because it matches our living room. So there's that. They're just everyday comfort. And there are 160 tissues. Okay, I think we got it. I got my fan on, you guys. I'm hoping you can hear me. I have to have it on, I'm dying. Okay, let me check and make sure you can hear me. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. As long as I keep my volume of my voice up. All right, guys, so I got one of these and I don't believe I showed you this before. Um, it's this really gorgeous, iridescent, um, hard plastic shell. You guys already know we have a beachy theme in our living room. We actually have it in our bathroom as well. Didn't really plan it that way, just kind of worked out that way. So not sure what I'm gonna use this for yet, but I think it's just beautiful. All right. Remember I was telling you that I have, let's see, I showed you the one uh, little black mirrors that look kind of like wicker and I was telling you I have some more to show you I already have two up on my wall I'm not gonna take those down but I do have these like um, dusty uh, what do they call these like nautical mirrors so sorry about the, the glare um, so anyway they are just you know plain black round and I got two of those all right I forgot I have a few if I have time I'm gonna show you a few things I picked up from Walmart um, but for right now we're gonna continue on with the Dollar Tree stuff all right oof -da. that's heavy all right you guys, I'm so excited. These finally came to one of our Dollar Trees. Um, and I grabbed, come here, baby, right now. I grabbed one for Trace's dad's house and one for here. Trace is the only one who wears contacts, um, you know, of the, of me and Trace and, and his dad. Um, all the other boys are grown and gone. So um, anyway, you guys, these are a steal. I really meant to look these up and see how much they were, but 
I guarantee they were not no dollar twenty-five. So um, it's by color case. It says America's number one contact lens case. It's a value pack of twelve cases, and they come in this little container. And look, whoops, look at all the colors. Again, 12 cases, so I got two of those, and Trace is on a trip right now with one of his buddies, and I sent him a picture of these, and he was just really super stoked. So you guys already know, I show you, I will show you the 10 pack of the um, heavy duty plates. Um, they're either white, or some of them have um, like a design to them. But this is the first time I've seen these there, so I thought I would try them out. They are definitely heavy duty. I could kind of feel them through the package. So they're by AJM, and they're called the Original Heavyweights. And there are 20, so there's twice as many. Now, I may open this and realize that I need to really put two together, and I didn't save myself any money. Um, but it does say grease resistant, extra heavy, and microwave safe. We also have the little things that go underneath these just for, hey, stop that. Just for some extra um, oomph. So, grabbed two of those. Baby, I'm sorry, come here, come on, come here. She's like, I'm trying to behave and get up there, but you're cramming me out, come here. Good girl. Got two of these. You guys already know I love the Arizona iced tea with lemon. And these are, I should know this by now, I always say that, 34 fluid ounces. Okay, I noticed I've been hurrying through my videos lately. I don't want to do that. I got two of those if I didn't say that. I don't want to do that. Um, so, I need to chill. I think sometimes... I hurried through my little nacho video the other night, um, and I don't, I think I had to go somewhere. I think we were going to Trace's game or something, basketball, but, um, I find that if I have a lot to haul, I tend to rush, and I don't want to do that. I would rather do two hauls if need to, need be, so I'm going to try to bring it down a notch, <laughs> so... Um, I grabbed some dish soap. This one, you know, if you haven't already, if you don't already know this, which I'm sure you do, pay attention to this because they always have like 75% more, 95% more, 100% more, whatever. Um, and then I also noticed that the lemon one was the only one that said super degreaser. So, um... And it's actually 95% more fluid ounces versus Dawn's 7 fluid ounces. So this is 13.7 fluid ounces. Um, but yeah, so I got one of those. I promise I will get into some exciting stuff here. Got some wipes. We just always have wipes around the house. No, there are not any babies in the house. These are in the baby section. They're the Fisher Price. There's a couple different kinds. Well, there's more than a couple. Um, but again, pay attention to the number because I want to say that there's like 60 something and then these are 72. So, and they are, um, these ones are aloe vera and chamomile. Um, I was in the Dollar Tree for this stuff on the 4th of July. Um, we had to get a couple things for our barbecue. So, um, not the day to be picking up um, plastic silver because everyone and their brother had wiped it clean. So, I do like to keep these on hand. I usually do not buy the um, mixed set. I usually just like get spoons and forks and sometimes knives but this is all they had and um, I also usually get this super heavy duty and this is just the heavy duty um, tell me if I'm 
right on this, if you've noticed this too. The clear, I want to even say that my girl Holly at Cheap and Thrifty Mom has even said this, that the clear ones seem to be stronger anyway versus like the white or the other colors. So anyway, you get 16 spoons, 16 forks, and 16 knives. All right. I have been looking for one of these forever because uh, periodically Trace is like, mom, can I use that on my shoes? And I'm like, yes, that's totally fine. And then I, I'm like, I'll just grab a new one. We keep these in one in the bath, in the shower and one by our sink. So they used to have like the fluorescent green, the fluorescent blue and fluorescent pink. And it was like cl clear type of a look. Um, but now they have different colors, so I got a blue one to match our bathroom. We've got lots of blue in there. So it's just a little two-pack of nail brushes. You guys, I was so excited to find these. I think these are absolutely amazing. They are by Luminant. Um, they are soft. These are toothbrushes. They're travel toothbrushes, and they are powered toothbrushes and they have covers. So I got Trace the navy blue one and me this really pretty mint green with the speckles. How cool are those? So I've been heading out of town a lot lately. Um, so that will be perfect. Um, give me one second, you guys. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. I hope you had an amazing 4th of July. Um, I hope you are all staying cool. Um, if you live in a hot part of the world, like we do, it is ridiculous. So hot that it just makes you sick. All right. Let's see. Um, so yeah, this stuff that I'm gonna show you has been sitting around for some time. And I'm like, I gotta haul this stuff so I can put it away and use it. So I told you recently, I have been incorporating bee things, like bee themed things into our um, living room. First of all, I kind of just like started incorporating some yellow and then they started carrying all this cool bee stuff at the Dollar Tree and I was like, yes, ma'am. So, um, you guys already know I love gnomes and look at, he is a little, a little bee gnome and I love the black and white check and it says be blessed, like B-E-E. -E. Is that ridiculously cute? And it's a little shadow box picture. There's that. You know, because I have um, all the wall space in the world to hang another picture. Not, okay. Got some craft stuff. Um, I got these flowers. It's a five pack, five piece, and it comes with a little jute twine and you hang it here. So I was just going to um, I have different little like hooks and stuff around in our living room that I can hang these sorts of things or hang anything with a little yarn or whatever. So, um, I'm going to paint these different colors and then I'm going to hang them around the living room, those flowers. And then I got the, I'm going to put some, excuse me, in my bedroom as well. I have similar hooks in there. And then look at the birds, you guys. And this jute twine comes with these beautiful, um, oh, hold on. Okay, that's right. This one is actually, I was gonna say, comes with beautiful beads. That's because it's a garland. This one is going into our kitchen. Um, I'll probably paint the little birds black. Um, and, um, you know, we have black and red and other colors in our kitchen, so that is going to be absolutely adorable. Um, <laughs> so, okay, 
intermission for a moment. Um, I have been divorced for, okay, let me think about this. I, I keep saying almost six years, but I swear it might be more than that. Just a minute. So, wow. I keep saying five and a half years. It's six and a half years because it, it's 2000. Wow. Almost seven years. I don't even know where the time has gone, you guys. Um, the only time I slow down is when I start talking to you like this <laughs> about something important. Um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I can't count clearly. No, nope. okay, I'm like, there's no way it could be almost seven years. Almost six years. Okay, sorry. And um, I did not date at all for the first... Uh, Um, once my divorce was final, I did not date for a couple of years. Um, like as far as going, you know, like, you know, looking putting myself into like the dating world, I guess I should say. So, um, and I did the dating apps and like COVID had, you know, what COVID hit and it was like, oh, how do you date with COVID? And so anyway, that was even more time of really not dating, like maybe just talked with a few people. And then had a couple years ago, um, a not so good experience with someone whom I started to date, thought maybe it would like, you know, it was turning into a relationship. Um, and it just like bit me in the ass, excuse my language. I like, I was like, uh, -uh I don't want anything to do with dating. I don't want anything to do with, um, dating apps. And so, um, I, you know, like, I kind of just closed down. And then I kind of would like pop on a dating app and then like quickly pop off. And then six months later, pop on and quickly pop off. And, um, you know, and I did end up going on some different dates, but big time wall up. So, um, long story long I um, met someone and I actually met him before but we hadn't met in person and we met in person finally and things just like went BAM and just developed um, so surprisingly um, well, and so surprisingly quick, really. And, um, sometimes it just happens, you know, sometimes you just, when, if you know, you know. Um, but one of the reasons you guys already know, I tell you my life story. One of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this was because I think I'm a little extra nervous. Um, this haul because his little sweet daughter shout out to you Adriana love you honey um, she has been watching my videos and I'm like OMG like this is okay watch them all you want girl but let's not have your dad watch them. <laughs> so, he could care less about him thank God <laughs> so Anyway, so I'm finding myself like a little bit nervous. I don't know. Um, thought I'd put that out there, but I'm so happy, you guys. I'm so happy. I'm I'm with such a wonderful man, and he is so good to me. And anyway, okay. 
back to the Dollar Tree haul. So, I wanted to show you guys. Dang it, I wish I had my little stars that I showed you a haul or two ago. Um, remember I showed you those star wreath forms and I was like, not using them for wreaths. I'm going to hang them as they are. And there's like an open star in the middle. And I said, I have these little shadow star type things that I'm going to hang right up on one of the points. And that I think these will work perfectly on the inside. Well, these are what I was talking about. You know what? Give me a minute. I'm going to grab one of those for you. Alrighty. So, these are the stars I'm talking about. Okay. And just putting that in the back so you can see it a little better. Let's see. This is the first time I'm trying this. Let's see if it works. <gasps> you guys! Look! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Can you see it? I'm so excited to put this in our living room. Two of these. So we've got two of those. Yay. All right. And thank you for listening to me catch up with you guys about my personal life. Um, these were from the, with the plates and stuff, but it fell down on the other side of this table and I just saw it. So anyway, I did grab... Um, a 20 pack of the large foam cups. We just like to have these on hand too. Sometimes, you know, this girl after working or whatever just doesn't feel like doing dishes. All right, um, got another craft item and I don't know exactly what this is gonna go on. Um, I actually just noticed that it has two little um, holes at the top. So this would be amazing to do like, you know, just have it in the middle with some beads and make it kind of like a little garland. But let me pull this out again so you can actually see what it says. You guys know I love birds. I love flowers. So it's galvanized metal. There's a little birdie and it says hello. And the O is a flower. How cute is that? All right. Hey, baby, come here, honey. I feel so like shrunk down, it's weird. I'm not sure what's going on, but anyway. Um, I'm telling you, you guys, if you see these, you better grab them fast, whoa. <laughs> because, oh yeah, this one, uh-huh, no. I love you, but no. She's obsessed with wood, okay? If she gets a hold of these, I've literally had to have this bag up high so she couldn't get it. She will chew the crap out of it. So anyway, if you see these, you better grab them because they will be gone. So they are wooden um, beaded wreaths. Um, and I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with them yet, so the black one is round and then there's little square brown beads and what i would really love to do i think is like make this either into a dream catcher you know at, with stuff hanging down or just stuff hanging down with nothing there or i don't know that'd be kind of weird or just like maybe put a picture in there i don't know you guys but i'm super excited to use these and these are like super heavy duty. There's my word, you guys, heavy duty. Um, these are, I don't know why they were out. I guess they were just left over from February from um, Valentine's Day. But these are the little um, oh, foam, hi kitty, uh, roses. And there are six of them in here. And they, they are red, they are going in our living room. Nope, or not our living room, our kitchen. 
Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put them on quite yet. Um, I may incorporate them into... Stop it, you two. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Here they go. Oh. Okay. Move. Sorry. Give me a minute. Wreaths oh. down. Wreaths down. You guys, I swear to God, if I could cuss on here with a... If I could cuss on here... Get over here. Right now, baby. Stop it. Come here. Give me a minute. All right. So, yeah. I swear if I could cuss on here because I get so ticked when they start getting cuckoo when I'm trying to do my videos, I would, yeah. It's a good thing I can't cuss on here because I don't want you to see my ugly side. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, okay, so I was thinking that, and I do not cuss at my animals very often. <laughs> okay, anyway. I was like, maybe I could put these, you know, on the string part, like between. I don't know, you guys. I really want to do crafts with you, DIYs. Um, <laughs> just a minute. I am so sorry, you guys. This is a fr frackalackin' poop show. How far into this am I? Oh my gosh, like I don't even know what to do anymore. Yes, I do. From now on, these animals are getting locked in my bedroom. I think Jay from Frugal Jay, hi Jay, I love you, told me that a long time ago and I'm just so used to them being out here and irritating the crap out of me that I just, it doesn't even enter my mind. Um, this is supposed to be a fun time with you guys. In the last two videos, I've been so ticked off with my animals that I just could scream. All right. So here are, these are in the party section. There's, no. They're um, salad plates. Um, they are heavy plastic and there's a six piece. And honestly, you guys, I only bought it for a couple of them because you know I have a pink vanity, and where, where all things are pink on that vanity. Um, and so I just thought I could like set a few things on top and it would be cute. All right, here is another garland I got. This one will go in the living room because it's bees and yellow. Aren't those cute? So, so cute, so I'll paint those. Maybe, I don't know, like I might not even paint those. They kind of look cute just like they are. All right, got this for the living, or the um, kitchen, black and red and white. Just a little, you know, one of the little kind of boho rugs. Oh, sorry, babe. Um, I got this for the kitchen too. Yes, I know it's for a birthday party. Ask me if I care. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sassy lately. Oh my gosh. You know what? The older you get, the less crap you put up with. So, um, these are those little tissue things. And so they're, there's like a whole bunch of different kinds. These one, this one is the tissue pom pom garland. So this is what it looks like. And I am going to like zigzag it in my, um, kitchen somewhere because yes it's red all right let's see I needed some uh, furniture markers I have the brown ones um, I got these because I, I really I needed a black one but they do have two dark brown ones in here as well it's a three piece the colors are black walnut and ma mahogany all right um, got something else for craft time. It's a six piece of the chalkboard tags and come with this cute little twine and they're the large circles and um, I am going to be putting some different stickers in there and just kind of hanging them on our little hooks that we have around here. 
So if I don't do those with you guys, I will definitely try to remember to show you. Um, got some of these. Um, they're the laser cut chipboard decor icons. And look at these, how gorgeous they are. The birds. I think what I'm gonna do, there's little holes up here, wherever, on each different bird. I will probably like string them along. String them along. <laughs> string them um, on uh, some jute twine or rope or something and, you know, make something cute. And then I absolutely love um, owls and here are six of the owls sorry about the glare so they're wooden and wait are they wooden oh yeah they're chipboard okay <laughs> and I got two more but these ones come they're a little different I got a three piece of the leaves and three piece of the feathers. I got um, three a three pack of the burlap flowers. Um, and in fact, I think that I may do a few of these on here. You know, right in the middle. All right. And then I got um, one of the Shore Living. Um, this one's from Shore Living. Does it say how many? It's a six piece and it's the anchors. Comes with the jute twine. And um, so, yeah, I've got those as well. Got a pack of pom poms, um, 16 pieces. And I'm trying to remember what I got these for. I can't remember. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was gonna do some type of a DIY with these. If I, I, I will remember eventually. There's 16, like I said. And, um, I will sh show you or tell you. Um, got one of these um, for the living room and it's beautiful definitely worth $1.25 it's a ceramic shell with the tassel and the beads and that's so beautiful and this one is shore living as well whoops hold on Um, and it's got like the mermaid look and it's navy blue with the twine you can hang it up or you can just leave it like that and then it's got the really cute seahorse heavy duty metal totally worth a dollar twenty five um, I couldn't remember if I showed you this as well um, absolutely beautiful iridescent teal um like a 3d sort of pop out print no get up here right now like a little genie bottle yep <laughs> and then i got this one which is somewhat similar to the navy blue one i just showed you but it's not the mermaid. It's kind of like a rock look. I don't know. Anyway, very, you know, beachy. Obviously, it's shore living as well. You know, they're calling them candle holders. You can do whatever you want with them. So, it's a little bigger. Um, like, wider than this one. But I guess this one's a little... Oh, uh, maybe this one's a little taller. And then, the these parts are um this one is much bigger much more for like hanging it up almost like a lantern type of a thing you could put a little um battery operated tea light in there got this um our last name is 
Paris. So this really cute beaded little decor piece. Oops. Um, got some floating shelves for, no baby, for um, most likely my, my bedroom. Got them in white. There's the holes on the back. They're really, you know, nice um, and really, you know, good quality. And then there's all the hardware on the top. So I got two of those. And I'll probably hang them like that. All right. I need to move some of this stuff, guys. Give me one sec. I'm sorry. Give me uno momento, por favor, so that I can get this stuff. I can already see I've got all this wooden stuff over here, and Bebe is like looking at it and licking her lips. Okay, huh, Bebe? You guys, I promise I'm not a mean fur baby mama. I'm not a mean mama. In fact, though, I'll tell you right now, I get after my animals way more than I ever got after my kids. They are so high maintenance compared to my kids. Holy crap. All right, um, I think this is gonna be the last thing I show you. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna show you three more things and then we're gonna close down shop because um, I don't want this video to be too long and I have uploading issues with it. If, you know, that'll happen if it's too long. Um, I do have some Big Lots stuff, and I will actually um, put that in with the Walmart stuff, um, but I don't have enough to do a big haul, so I will add that to my next Dollar Tree haul. Um, I, have a, I have at least two more Dollar Tree hauls to show you. Um, so then I got a five pack. Um, this is from the indoor garden, so the garden section. Five piece of the craft chalkboard ornaments and these ones are the little birdies with the twine all right two more items couldn't you guys I couldn't help myself I have no room for these none none um, I just couldn't help it I could not help it they are so beautiful so these are from Shore Living. No, they're not. But they were in the Shore Living section. So um, look at this beautiful um, sand dollar. You know, it's just a canvas wall hang. And then look at this beautiful um, seahorse. All right, you guys. Forgive me for my crankiness toward my animals. Love you all. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because I would love to have you be a part of this zany family. And um, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And please comment down below, most importantly. Oh, and if you would give me a like, I would so appreciate it, but comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I would love to meet you. Um, you guys, stay safe, stay blessed, my butterflies, and I will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.